recall, <laughs> when you make an artwork, you're drawing upon all you have been up to the moment that you bring it into being, which is the now, the here and now. And it takes shape, it takes form, and it's done, and you pass it along to another, to another living, human, caring person. And they, in turn, can pass it along to, to their future. Right. And so the artwork is a link between what has been, what is now here in the studio, and what will be tomorrow that you can't even envision. Yeah. But the artwork will be there, and it will represent you, and it will continue to inspire and excite people who see it and take delight. When, when a person holds one of your pieces, they see the material, the crystalline life in the material, the way it has been transformed from sand into something spectacularly clear and bright, something with the capacity for the magic of color. Yeah. And it all comes together in an exquisite object that delights the eye and craves attention. Your artworks look to people to enjoy them, to admire sure. them. Yeah to be enhanced to discover the nuances of the design by what the artwork adds to their life sure. i love knowing that you can trace craft making contemporary craft back to luskin and to william morris where they were rebelling against shoddy workmanship right. during the industrial revolution Right. And they were saying that there is merit. We've lost our way. That brings us back to the very important point that you made earlier. It's a refusal to be satisfied with the ordinary. It's a concern with the pursuit of... Excellence. Exactly. And, and how to articulate excellence is through... Uh, craftsmanship, respect for the uh, respect for things made well. How do I say? How do you say that? Well, it's, it's respect it's for respect the potential, for, the material. It's a respect for for understanding the nature of the material. Thanks. What are its limitations? What are its potentialities? What can you dare to dream of that you can make with this material? that has never been done before. And how does the material come together in a way that is stable? In a way that, that the material, the material's memory In a embraces. way that works. Yes, well said. Artists I, are I, very I, fond of that expression. <laughs> and it's a good expression because it brings our feet back to the ground. <laughs> a lot of people feel Art is just a nice picture, <laughs> nothing to it. Draw me a handsome object, that's art. Well, that, that leads to art, but it's not, not the end all and the be all. <laughs> exactly. There's a lot more to it, yes. and nobody ever knows it all. We all have a need and space for learning more. Every day presents golden opportunities for new discoveries yeah. that enrich our insight into what art experience can be. Yeah. And we can be challenged by artworks. We can be amazed by artworks. We can be shocked out of our socks by artworks. <laughs> People looked at Marcel Duchamp's new Descending the Staircase back in an art exhibition in New York in 1913. And they said, holy cow, this is wacko. This is ridiculous. This isn't art. Well, it wasn't art as they were accustomed to. But it was what Duchamp was inventing yeah. and adding to yeah. Yeah. the potential of what art could be. And it takes 
ingenious minds and hearts and hands to bring that into being. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and Duchamp perked up people's potential Duchamp, for thinking beyond the know, ordinary. I think Duchamp, uh, Duchamp celebrated the idea of art making more than the object. Well, both. But it was the idea yes. in a conceptual framework. He really introduces a whole range of ideas that other artists have capitalized on, including art movements like the conceptualists, yeah, the whole yeah, Dada yeah, movement, yeah, yeah. That, that art could be made of a found object, that, that art could be what the artist says it is. Yeah. That that's that still troubles many people today. I mean, they they still find it very hard to accept that an artwork can be what the artist says it is. Of course, it's not what the man of the street says it is. <laughs> it's what the artist, the artist. Uh, exactly. says it is. And and the question is not is or isn't it a piece of art. The question is who is the artist? What's so special about the artist? that he or she has this power to determine what seems like an ordinary thing isn't so ordinary. It has parameters of presentation that haven't been thought of until this unusual artist comes along and deals with these ideas, these conceptions, as a means of sharing an art experience. You know, when you look at objects, and in my case, when I look at glass made uh, a thousand years ago, when I look at masterworks in the history of glass, I'm, I relate to work well made from the Roman period. Of course. As the glass has the memory of great work from the past. And with skill, you could advance it to the present. And skill grows out of practice, practice, practice. It's a little bit like the way pianists get to Carnegie Hall. Practice, practice, practice. You, and I love this word, you work at it. Yes. You seek to do the best that you can and tomorrow you try to do even better. And you're competing with the past. And you're competing with yourself. I'm fascinated with creativity and how elusive and how abstract it can be. Creativity is such an important ingredient in, uh, in artists and in, in the work of an artist. But the potential for creative action lies within the very human capacity for exercising imagination, for projecting fantasies, for envisioning what hasn't been seen before, or transforming what has been seen before into, into something it. new. And, and, and that uh, encourages me to question you about originality, because I think originality is uh, the life's blood of an artist's career. I, I think originality mostly comes out of a human impulse to make the most of your uniqueness. Each of us, as living beings, is put together in a very special way. Each of us is unique. Each of us is like nobody else on the face of the earth. And if we draw upon that uniqueness, that capacity to feel and see and wonder and dare to bring things into being that no one has ever seen before, we're on the road toward building our imaginative resources and transforming them into richly rewarding objects worth enjoying and living with.